what is up everyone welcome back to our channel inside python this is the fourth episode of our kiwi development series so in the last video we created gui like this let me just give you an insight into that we created this gui but we didn't learn how to add functionalities through the kv language so i'm going to be introducing you to that thing that how you can take text inputs from the kv file and how you can uh, uh, bind functions to buttons using the kv language so let's get into it so this is a code from the previous series if you haven't watched this then do press that i button on the showing up on your top right corner and watch that video right now so now we have to learn about something called object pro um, properties so let's just define some of the functions here not exactly function we need to import something right here from kiwi dot ui it's dot uh, i think it is not in this dot properties kiwi dot properties import object prop property okay so now here define some variables as uh, suppose we need to take two inputs uh, first of all is the username from here the second is the password and yeah just only we will know it only two variables so right here uh, say usr uh, is equals to object prop Object property and you know this object property right none because we haven't specified any kind of data right now so and create uh, say PSS for password and write your object property and write here none okay so I think this would do the trick okay so just save it now come here now right at the starting after you define your class we need to define some variables in this file so how do we do that we reference we point variables to certain things suppose like here the name should be same here so i'm writing it here usr so write here usr colon user okay and the pss okay this short form for password so write here pss as uh, say pass okay so now the thing is that we are taking uh, variables here here not exactly taking we are referencing this variables in this uh, in this kv file through this you uh, through these variables as user and pass so in case if you want to use this usr variable or object property from here we will need to define it like us user i can define it the same name as here also usr and pss there's no problem with that so i will do like this so now if you are familiar with css or html there is a property called id okay so we're gonna be using that so in text inputs write uh, id as uh, usr so this is actually assigning uh, a variable a data holder for this text input so write your same for the password uh, right here id colon pss okay i think that would do the trick so now what if we want to take this data out so how do we take this data out uh, suppose let's create uh, or suppose let's see this uh, no 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 so suppose let's create a logic uh, we will create the logic in this login function so if the username and password are entered as we specify then it will print login successful so right here if uh, so how to access those things same usr.text uh, is equals to is equals to now I'm defining actually what I want there so I will write here inside uh, not exactly capitals inside and uh, right here and uh, pss.tx uh, it is text only uh, right here not inside this time python okay so now the thing is how to bind this function to that button so come here uh, now right here exactly in button right here on release on release right uh, say I think it is app dot uh, what is the function's name login app dot login okay so now after writing root dot login you need to put parenthesis here uh, this is necessary okay, so now after putting the parenthesis you need to remove this instance object here because we don't need any kind of object uh, parameters here in this login function while we are using kv so let's try to run it uh, right here uh, inside uh, and right here python login 
okay so it is saying login successful see if we if i remove this and press that login button nothing happens so that is it if you resize this window uh okay sorry uh, i don't know what is happening so just let me just go back so if you resize this window it will automatically get resized according to this so now i think i would be ending the video right now so if you haven't watched the previous videos do watch the videos new video will be coming soon and in the next video i think i'm going to be discussing about the float layout uh, of dynamic placement which uh, is very helpful while creating cross-platform guis so stay tuned for that subscribe to our channel and hit that notification icon so you just get a reminder when the video is uploaded and thanks for watching our video